Good afternoon, B Colin here with TechOut. Sorry it's been so long on the whole eBay case situation. Um, I currently have a broken foot. So, uh, yep, down with that right now. But I do have uh, an update on the case, and it did not go as planned at all. Um, I'm still trying to fight this. Um, looks like I'm going to have to uh, send a dispute letter to the eBay legal department. Um, so what ended up happening was... Uh, the buyer, I don't remember where I left off in the last video, but the buyer did end up sending the, uh, well, sending something back. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but they did use the label I provided, and they shipped it from New York rather than Florida, which is where I shipped the item to. Um, so that was the, probably the second red flag. The first red flag was the fact that the buyer uh, wasn't responding to any messages, and uh, the only picture he uploaded to the case was um, a picture of the back of the phone, and like, like you can see here, he never, um, he only said, I have a problem with the smartphone. He never answered any questions about wh what the issue was or anything like that. He only showed the back of the phone, which was in good condition in his picture. Um, and then he sent it, sent something back uh, from New York using the label that I provided. Um, and when the item was out for delivery, um, I heard the mail going by. So I went out to go get it and I went out and there was nothing there. So I was like, oh, that's weird. So my mail carrier was coming back by on the other side of the street, went over to ask her if she had anything for me because I had a package out for delivery. And she said, it shows I have something, but I don't, you know, there's nothing on the truck for you. Um, so she called back to the post office. They looked for it, didn't have it. Um, she said, you know, if, if somebody else had it, they would have them bring it to me or she would, you know, she would meet him and get it and bring it to me. Um, and then about 30 minutes later, the tracking number showed that it was delivered. And so I went back outside, checked. I never heard her come back or anything like that. So I was like, oh, that's weird. So came back in, called the post office. And they looked up who, you know, who did the delivery scan and the location of the delivery scan and everything like that. And said that the tracking number that I gave them was for a nearby school. And I said, well, that can't be, that's not possible because the tracking number was, you know, I bought the label through eBay. It was all, you know, automatically provided and everything like that. So it's not like I gave them the wrong tracking number or, you know, there was an issue with the label. Um, all of it was from the information that was already on eBay. So I, you know, gave him the tracking number again. We verified it was the right one. And he goes, well, I can see that like electronically, like with the, the details on the label, that it is addressed to you, but it was addressed physically and delivered to the school. So I called the school and they're like, yeah, we only got, we got some school supplies, but that was it. So it looks like what the buyer did was they probably sent some random school supplies in a box to the school and used the same tracking barcode, but actually put the school's address on it. You know, a bunch of people there, it's just addressed to a school. They're going to get something, not think anything of it. And then the tracking shows delivered and now I'm out 657.71. So that's where I thought, okay, well, I'll just tell eBay. You know, I opened a case with the Postal Service. You can see right here, I uploaded a screenshot of that to where it was marked as delivered but not received. And, you know, that would be the end of it. Well, it wasn't. eBay, eBay said because the item was delivered and we have tracking information showing it was delivered, uh, we are refunding the buyer and the refund amount will be cr uh, collected from you. Um, so I, uh, you know, I opened a case and said, hey, I, I never got the item. I reported the buyer as you know, item not received, all that kind of stuff. I said they reshipped it from a different location. Um, all these things are, you know, they're not adding up. And I appealed that. And eBay once again said that uh, we kept the original outcome because we received valid proof that the item was returned to you. Um, so now on eBay, you can appeal it once yourself on the website, and then you can call and a customer service representative can appeal it for you again which is what I did. I explained everything that happened. I explained what the Postal Service told me. You know, they put all that on the case. And within an hour later, I get another email from eBay that once again, that they go based on tracking information. And because the tracking information says that it was delivered, they are denying my appeal. And again, I was forced to repay eBay 657.71. So uh, my plan now is I'm going to send a dispute letter to eBay, to the legal department, 
and let them know that I am going to fight this uh, because I obviously did not receive anything back. It was not something I did wrong on my end. I believe this was a 100% scam on the buyer's part. Um, just adding everything together, um, if you look at all the things that happened, um, and then the fact that it didn't show up and it was addressed uh, and delivered to somewhere else, um, that's not a coincidence in my opinion. And the fact that um, I even asked the Postal Service, I said, is the, the, the carrier for that school, is that a different route than I am? And they said yes, so that means that it was loaded onto an entirely different truck, seen by multiple people, you know, somebody loading the trucks, and then the carrier even even said that that, that package that he delivered had a different address on it that was addressed to the school. Um, so all that adding up, you know, obviously the buyer probably did that to fraudulently mark it as delivered so he would get the refund and keep the item. So that's what happened with that. Uh, maybe I'll make a part three after I do all that, but I'm kind of uh, dealing with the broken foot situation right now, so this will have to wait until after that. But that's the situation going on with the Pixel right now. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and as always, have a great day.